in their tongue is Dovahkiin. Dragonborn. What's going on YouTube? This is Hero Stormwolf and welcome back to another Skyrim Mods video. The next mod's about to show off or user requested. As always, if you want to see a mod on here, just leave it in the description below. But the mods that I'm going to be checking out today is a Spider-Man costume mod and a Uchiha Clan mod itself, which comes with a custom race and a quest mod, but we'll get into that a little bit later. The first mod we're going to be showing off is the standalone Spider-Man costumes. This actually has another mod linked to it called the Fully Voiced Follower. Unfortunately, I was unable to get it working properly. Um, if the author of the mod does this, watch this video. Send me a message or a comment down below. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But when you install the, the standalone costumes mod, you get 18 costumes from the Spider-Man series. Inside of Whiterun, you'll see a chest to the right of the Barrett Mar or the Bard Mare. It will say pretty much uh, the chest of Spider-Man costumes, and inside of it, you have the 18 costumes. I already have the costumes in my possession, and I'm actually wearing one, wearing one right now. This is the Spider-Man 2099, as you can see. Actually, like it looks really well done. Zoom out a bit so you can see get a better look. The Amazing Spider-Man suit from the new movie. Actually, it comes with the web shooters too. That's actually really, really nice detail. The Ben Riley Spider-Man suit. The big time suit. The classic Scarlet Spider Man suit, which is actually one of my personal favorites. I don't know why I'm just really drawn to this costume. I like the way it looks. Next up are two damage suits, the damage negative zone. The damage ultimate suit. The future foundation suit, which comes in two variations, black and white. This is the black version. I'm sorry about that. I actually do like the Future Foundation suits both variations too. I think I like the white version a bit more. I'll show it off here in a second. Yeah, I like this variation of the Future Foundation suit better. 
Excuse me. Yeah, for those who don't know, I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Love the comics and the games. And the anime that used to, or not the anime, but the cartoon that used to run back in the 90s. And the Cancelled Spectacular Spider-Man. I actually like that a bit more than the Ultimate Spider-Man series that, um, that Disney was showing for a time. I believe it was Disney, but anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, the Negative Zone suit. Uh, probably my least favorite of the Spider-Man costumes, just because of how bland it looks compared to the others. That that ju that doesn't mean for the author itself. That just mean in general for Spider-Man suit. I just find this one to be the the least appealing, just because of how how bland it is. The Scarlet Spider. I believe this is the new variation of it. I think this was back in 2012 or 2013 when this was redone. I'm not too sure. But I like the, the classic Scarlet Spider better than this version. Not to say this version is bad, but I just have that preference over the other version. The Superior Spider-Man suit, which, by the way, I actually need to move into some light so you can get a better look. Or I'll try and get you a better look of it. There we go. Which, by the way, I highly suggest you read the comic storyline for Superior Spider-Man. It's actually really, really good, despite what people say about it. Or at least I enjoy it a lot. I think it's really cool, and it's actually... It's kind of a look in the way Spider-Man would be if he took his job a lot more serious. And I actually like that alternate look on Spider-Man. I actually do like his costume appeal in the comic as well. But yeah, definitely check out Superior Spider-Man. I think it's actually a, a good read, a good series so far. I actually enjoy it a lot. The Symbiote 2009 Spider-Man suit. Which, to be honest, I didn't even know if this existed, or if this is just a fan favorite. I didn't, I didn't like the Spider-Man 2009 series that well, so I really didn't keep up with it. So I'm not even sure if it's still ongoing or not, but I actually didn't like the comic series for that. But I like it, and I like the appeal of this suit. It looks pretty good. Maybe it's, if it is a what-if, it's actually a really good what-if costume. If it's real, um, let me know if it's real in the comments. Just let me know if it's um, real in the Scarlet Spider-Man series or not. Or not the Spider Scarlet Spider-Man, but the um, the Spider-Man 2099 series. Let me know if that's the actual costume. The Toxic Suit, which I actually didn't know about this suit. I don't know too much about it, admittedly. It looks pretty cool. I like it. The Ultimate Suit, which is from Ultimate Spider-Man. I do apologize if you hear thunder and lightning. It is actually lightning at my house. Like, it literally started by the time I was recording this video. So I apologize if you hear that in the background. The Venom Symbiote suit, which actually looks really cool. I like it. it even comes with the whole Venom smile. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. And finally, the Wrestler Spider-Man suit, which was from... I believe this is the the Amazing Spider-Man variant of the wrestler suit. Instead of the um the first three the first movie, I think this is the Amazing Spider-Man variant of the wrestler suit. Which 
So all in all, I actually do enjoy these costumes. I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, so thank you again for bringing this mod to my attention. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the second requested mod, and this is the, the Uchiha Clan mod. The next mod I'm going to be showing off is the Uchiha Clan mod. Now what this does, it adds a new race to the game called the Uchiha. Uh, there, there's a brief description of them, basically explaining who they are and their history. Any Naruto fan will probably know what that is, so I'm not going to bother reading it. Uh, the perks you get, according to Skyrim, is you start up with 50 percent or 50 health, 50 magic, and 70 stamina. You are favored in one-handed and two-handed weapons. Illusion, destruction, and light armor are all plus five. And your special ability is a affinity with fire, which gives you a 50 percent resistance to fire. The Sharingan Awakening, which is a spell which, according to the people of number you've killed and murdered, will increase in power. There's a starting a starting level one, a starting level two, and a starting level uh, level three. Um, this doesn't change the texture of the eye, so if you want to change the eyes according to that, you need to use a eye mod for that. Um, this also comes with Draconian methods, detect life and night vision, shrine gun slow time, Tsukiyomi, and Amaterasu as you advance upon the quest. Now, in order to start the quest, you need to awaken the shrine gun, the Mangakyo shrine gun. Uh, and to do this, you need to first awaken the Sharing God itself. Here's your basic magic. You start up with the Dragon Flame Jutsu as level 1. You also get the Sharing God Awakening here. Of course, I haven't killed anybody, so it's not going to really do much for me. Here you can see, you also get a path you want to choose. Which path do you choose? This only affects the Sharing God texture that your eyes will change when using some spells. This can be changed back at the Achia Temple. The the Susano you pick will mimic this change. You also you get to choose between which one you want to pick. Uh, Sasuke, Itachi, or Madara. I'm gonna go with uh, Madara. That's a dragon. It says here you have to kill a minimum of 20 people to fully awaken your Sharingan. You have killed zero. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna kill. 19 people and then I'll kill the 20th person and then I'll show you exactly what it says once you kill the 20th person as you see here I've killed 19 people so far I'm gonna summon one more person it's a simple bandit it really doesn't matter who you kill I've now killed 20 people It says you have finally awakened your Sharingan, now you can slow down time. As you see here, you got the first stage, which it slows down time to 35% for one minute and can be activated and deactivated at will. It requires 50% magic. You have your detect chakra, which is basically allows you to detect people to see through walls and in the dark. The full power activates all three at once. Which is probably your best bet, as you can see. And actually, your eyes do activate, which is actually a really nice effect. So I'll do something. I'll do one of the simpler mods here. I'll do the. I'll do the slow down time here. As you can see, that slows down time. Ah, I see, okay. So whenever you use the full power is the only time it activates the um the Sharingan, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. I just wish it wasn't so blurry when you activate it the slowdown time. So you actually get a better look of it. But as you progress through each of the each of the quest, when you kill fifty people, you unlock the second stage and the second tome of the Sharingan. When you Unlock the third stage, you unlock the third tome and the Draconian Methods. And after you kill 150 people and you murder one person, you will activate the Tsukiyomi and the Anmatsuratsu uh, level 1. And this unlocks the Mangekyo Sharingan, which will that grant the player another quest. Which is after you use the Mangekyo Sharingan time and time again, it will be harder for you to see, which means the screen will get blurry, it will be harder to see. You'll pretty, pretty much have a tunnel vision effect. 
Um, after a while, you will have to kill someone and get their eyes. Which I believe, according to who you picked, is the person you're probably going to be fighting or someone very like it. Uh, once you... Once you activate the Mangekyo Sharingan and you start to lose vision, wait anywhere 24 hours and you'll get a message from a courier. And once that happens, you'll be pretty much given a normal quest to find and kill the person and get their eyes. Now, according to the mod itself, yeah, this person is very hard to kill, so just be wary of that. But if you always wanted to have your own little um, Naruto Uchiha, or excuse me, Naruto Uchiha ban or clan quest thing this is definitely for you I'm actually gonna play around with this I'll probably play through it just to see how hard this guy is but that'd be it for this weekend Skyrim mods um, both mods will be in the link in the description below check them out and special thanks to the authors and the people who recommended these mods if you have your own mod recommendation please leave it in the link in the description below and I will try my best to either find it or if you know the mod itself link the mod in the description and I will definitely check it out catch you guys later peace